Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is we're graphing data. We're going to graph some ordered pairs. This is 9.3 uh, in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And if you guys can, if you find these uh, videos helpful, please click like and it just kind of helps encourage me to keep going with this. All right, let's get started here. So there's our common core strand and our question is how can we use a coordinate grid to display d uh, data or data uh, collected in an experiment okay so let's get started here so below is a table for the noon temperatures taken uh, each hour after noon if for the um, did I say noon temperatures below is a table for the temperature taken each hour after noon so after in the after 12 o'clock in the afternoon okay that's what that means right there so the first hour is 61 degrees, the third hour is 65 degrees, and, and so you'll notice right here, this is our x-axis right here. So it, it, typically if you see a table that's written like this, the top uh, row is your x-axis and the bottom row is your y-axis. Remember, x, y comes in um, uh, alphabetical order, so you just kind of do the same as, as this. This is first, so this would be second. So this would be, since x comes before y in the alphabet, then it, the, the first uh, set of numbers is typically our x's and the second set of numbers is typically our y's. All right, so it says write each, uh, write the ordered pairs for each point. Okay, so this is going to be x comma y, so 1 comma 61, 3 comma 65, 5 comma 71, and, and those other two points right there. So there they are right there. And then we're going to go ahead and graph the data in a coordinate grid. Okay, so here we're going to graph this guy first. So we're going to go, this is our x, so this is going to be over so we're going to go over that one and then up 61 okay well 61 is going to be a little bit past 60 so it's going to be like right about there okay so remember we go we go over and then up okay so for this one we're going to go we always start at the origin so we're going to go back to the origin right here and this one says go over three up 65 so we're going to go over three and then up 65 so that's going to take us right in the middle of 60 and 70 so right about there okay so there's that one right there okay over 5 up 71 so just a little bit past 71 almost looks like if we connected them it would be a straight line it's not quite a straight line but it's it's pretty close okay then this next one here is going to be over 7 up 75 so over 7 up 75 right there okay all right so there's that one and then finally over 9 up 97 now I can see that one's not quite on the same uh, path as these ones right here so it still did go up, but it only went up two degrees right there. Okay, so how would the order pairs be different if the outdoor temperature were, were recorded every hour for five consecutive hours? Well, let's look right here. This is being recorded every two hours. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. So if we went up every hour, then this would be one, and then this would be two, and three would be right here. So this 365 would actually go right here. This would be four comma something and, and five comma something, okay? Now, what would happen here, you guys, is, is um, since we're going up in one hour instead of two hours, this is what it's asking, um, it's going to go up about half because one is about half of two. I don't know if you can hear my fireplace crackling in the background right there. It's a cold winter night right now, and it's raining outside. Anyway, so since uh, you know these are going up by two, instead of going up by two, we go up by one, which is half of that. So we go up half of this distance. So from 61 to 65, that is four right there. So if we go up, you know, half of that, that would only go up to two. Okay, so it would be 63 right there. Okay, and let me just slide that up right there. Okay, so since these temperatures were recorded every two hours. Recording every one hour would be about half the difference. Okay, so instead of going up four right there, we go up two. So 61 uh, plus two. So here's the first point. It's the same as that first point right there. Notice the third point is the same as, as three hours right here. And notice uh, the fifth hour is the same as this fifth hour right here. But instead of going up by four, we go up by two. So 61 plus two is 63. 
Okay, this one was already given, so let's look between 3 and 5. Okay, so between 3 and 5, it also went up by 2. So if we went from 3 hours to 4 hours, we I'm sorry, did I say 2? Up by 4. We'd go up by 2 from 3 hours to 4 hours. So, so from 3 hours to 4 hours, we just add 2 to that. Okay, and then this one was already given right here, 5 comma 71. Okay, so you just got to kind of glance and see what's happening. If you couldn't see that, sometimes you can't see that. I just slid that up right there. Okay, here's another one here. So um, we're going to make a graph of this data on a coordinate grid. Okay, now now this is uh, going uh, vertical right here. Some couple of big cracks in the background there. So just like um, uh, the last one, this is the first set of numbers. So what do you think this is going to be, the X or the Ys? Well, X comes before Y in the alphabet, so this is going to be our X values, and this is going to be our Y values right here. Okay, so Jack places a miniature car, uh, a miniature car onto a track with launchers. Okay, so the speed of the car is then recorded every foot. Some of the data is shown in the table. Make the graph of, the, of his data. Okay. So imagine, you know, he shoots uh, these cars and these launchers and they start off really, really, really fast and then they start slowing down and sooner or later it's going to come to a stop so the speed will be at zero again. But that's why it says some of the data right here. Okay, let me let me slide that up so we can play around with that there. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is uh, make our axes, our X and Y axes, okay? And always the horizontal is our X axes and the vertical is our Y axes, okay? Remember, X comes before Y in the alphabet, so these will represent our X numbers. These will represent our, our Y numbers. So 0, 0. 1 comma 4, 2 comma 8. All right, but before we do that, we always have to label everything. So let's give a title for our graph. So here's the title for our graph. It's right here. It's usually right here, uh, somewhere around the table or inside the table. So mi miniature car speed right here. Okay, and then this is our speed right here. That's the right column right here, our speed in miles per hour. If you can t tilt your head sideways, I'm looking sideways right there. And then down here, this is our distance. That's from this X column, our distance in feet. All right, so then now we're going to go ahead and start graphing these points. So let's plot the points. So we're going to go ahead and plot 0, 0. Okay, there's 0, 0 right there. And then we're going to go ahead and plot 1, 4. So over 1, up 4 from the origin. Okay, so over 1, up 4. Okay, so there we go. And then we'll go over over 2, up 8. Okay, you guys get the hang of this. This is easy, huh? Over 3, up 6. And then over 4, up 3. Okay, it's that easy, guys. Just make sure that this is your X. And let's otherwise say that sometimes they might make you switch it and make this the X. But they'll, they'll specifically state it. And if they don't, assume this is our X column and this is our Y column. And when you had a table where the numbers were going on top of each other like this in a row then the top row would be your X and the bottom row would be your Y right there, okay? All right, one more question here. What do you think, uh, uh, why do you think that speed went up and then it went back down? Well, we talked about the launch. So as the car is launched, like shooting a rubber band, it picks up speed and then it comes to a stop. So it starts off going fast and then it goes slower right there. Okay, you guys, if this video was helpful, I would appreciate if you can click like and I hope you're having a, a fantastic year. Take care.